Okay, so I think this is recording. Um, <laughs> welcome back. Today, I'm going to be taking some personality tests. Well, maybe one. I don't know. Depends how long it takes. <laughs> um, so let's hop into it. You enjoy your fi- Good. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Incorrect. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. I slightly disagree with that. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it's taken place. Yes. <laughs> Your friend is sad about something. Your first instinct is, is, you know what? You can read. Yeah, people can rarely upset you. I'm emotional. <laughs> you often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. Agree. If you have to temporarily put your <laughs> plans. Mm -hmm, on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. I mean, I guess a little. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you just met. Disagree. I always worry. It would be a challenge for you to spend your whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. Um, I mostly disagree. You are more of a detail-oriented than big-picture person. I think I'm both, though, because <laughs> it, like, depends. So I guess, which is it, which do I do more? Because they don't like you to leave things neutral. Um, I guess, I guess I'm a tad more of a big picture person. You are very, yeah. <laughs> You have a careful and methodical approach to life. Disagree, I have no clue what I'm doing. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago, yes. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action, yup. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them, no, I very much relate. <laughs> When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Yes, I cannot make a decision. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Um, I mean, I get emotional, but when I'm under the pressure, I'd say I'm pretty good at it. When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. Incorrect. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Yes, I have the weirdest dreams. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others. No. Disagree. Bad. Don't do it. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. I'd say for my, like, big goals, I'd agree. My smaller goals, well, you know. My room never gets clean because I find something fun and then I play with it. Um, if you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. Yup. At a social when at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already knew. Yes. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. Disagree. I love philosophy. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Um, see, I try, but um, <laughs> I'm a little whiny bitch, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and like, because I used to like never cry in front of people, but then, I don't know, stuff got whack, you know? Just, yeah. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere to more quiet, intimate ones. Disagree. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Yes, I love theorizing. It's my favorite. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. 
but I do both because I feel like it has to be a balance because you have to like sit down, look at the facts, you know, look at the facts of the situation. And then you have to also, you also have to listen to your heart though. You have to be like, but how would I feel? Is this going to make me happy? Is this a good thing for me? Like, because you sit down and you look at these jobs and you look like, okay, this one's high paying, this one's low paying, this one's medium paying. And like, you, you like look and you also have to say which one's going to make you the happiest. And then you have to like maybe compromise on one or the other or both so that maybe you have like a good middle ground. I don't know. I you like you do both. I don't know. Okay. I listen to my heart. Who am I kidding? You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. Disagree? You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. Disagree. I am such a forgiver. I get forgive even when I shouldn't. You often make decisions on a whim. Um, yes, I have to, or else I never make a decision. I hate decisions. Decisions stress me out, and then I just, you know, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm sticky stuck. <laughs> So I just have to like all of a sudden, yep, okay, you know, or like, nope, don't do it. It's just it has to just suddenly come out of me. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. Um. Well, we're just gonna do a tiny agree, cause I feel like I don't know. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. Yes. Yes, I do. You always know exactly what you want. <laughs> no. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what could have gone differently. Uh, no, I always look back. <laughs> I'm a looker backer. But yeah, I know what I said. When in a public place, you usually stick to quieter, less crowded areas. Yup. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. Nope. <laughs> you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. If they express to me that they're feeling a certain way, I can do it, but I can't figure out what people are feeling sometimes if they don't like, if there's not a clear like, because I'll be, I'll, I'll go like a long time thinking someone's mad at me and it turns out they just... I don't know, we're sick or something, <laughs> but, but I don't know, I'm, like, good at understanding, so I guess then, when starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible, yes. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you, yeah. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation, go. No. I wish. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. Yes, I'm great at narratives. You look after yourself first and others come second. Uh, mm. <laughs> Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. <laughs> yeah, I plan to actually go to the beach today and get some clay, but, um, I'm doing this. <laughs> Your mood can change very quickly. I'll give a tiny agree to that. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence and the meaning of life. I seriously try not to, and honestly, oh, I just felt this pit form in, in my stomach. It's like, oh, okay, okay. <sighs> Tiny agree. <laughs> you often talk about your own feelings and emotions. Um, I've learned to. I've learned I have to. Because it's better to just have everything out in the open than to, like, keep everything inside of you. So I'll give a medium agree. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future. Yes. You rarely dwell on your regrets. No. <laughs> Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel dr- Yes, I get such bad, like, 
um, sensory overload and I get like so drained and I have to recharge. I'm like, th I, that's why I'm an introvert. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. Disagree. <laughs> Um, you find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. Yeah, I'm I'm really an empath, and it's not necessarily a good thing, but, you know, whatever. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than to organizing consistent efforts. Yes, that is 100% me. Your emotions control you more than you control them. I have to say... I disagree because I've gotten really good about that. After a long, exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need to <laughs> know. I need some ice cream and Netflix, buddy. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancements could change everyday life. Yes, because there's so many, so many. We could have a bright second, except there's not the funding or the people who've made them just want to make money off of it. And it's like, well, can't we just better humanity? Can't we? Please? Maybe a little? Just just a little? Please? 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 You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. I'm gonna give a medium agree. You still honor the commitments you have made even if you change your heart- even if you have a change of heart. Yeah. Yeah. Medium, yeah. <laughs> you rarely feel insecure. <sighs> no, I'm working on that. Actually, I'm going to give myself a medium because I have gotten better and I've gotten really good about accepting myself and loving myself and embracing myself. So it's only a medium disagree now. Let's see. I don't even know what I was doing. For I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, hey, my personality type changed. Because um, when I took a when I took Myers Briggs the first time, I had an INFJ. Like for real, I know everybody's like, it's the rarest, so I'm that. It's like no, I actually took it and I actually got that. But it seems I'm different now. <laughs> I'm ninety three percent introverted, <laughs> intuitive versus observant, feeling versus thinking prospecting versus judging oh i see see those are really close so i just shifted over this way a little bit which you know i think that happens a lot like if you take these tests i mean first of all you shouldn't rely on them anyway like it's it's just a, a little thing that maybe it helps you know a little bit more about yourself or like understand yourself a little bit better or helps other people understand you but it's it's always changing because as a person you're always changing and if you're not changing like I mean, <laughs> you want to evolve as a person, trust me. You don't want to stay where you are. Y you have to constantly be improving yourself. And part of improving myself, apparently, shifted me over to prospecting. Uh, yeah, not confident. That's me. Uh start reading I'm a mediator cool idealist um four percent of the population huh <laughs> risk of feeling misunderstood is unfortunately high yeah um <laughs> You're telling me. Oh, I love this quote. Um, anyway. They're guided by principles rather than logic. I, I'd say that's true about me. Excitement or practicality. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's me. Um... Honor, beauty, morality, and virtue. That sounds about right. Um, have a talent for self-expression. Yes. 
listen to many people. Yes, I do that all the time. I used to know all the gossip, like, because I would just not talk to people, but I would hear everything. <laughs> so. Uh, mediators. Cool. Cool dude. Ooh, cool dude here, too. Yeah. Okay, well, so hopefully you got to learn a little bit more about me, I guess. Uh, I think that's really interesting that my, um, my personality, like, letters, they shifted. I mean, it makes sense because I've changed a lot since I took it the first time, because I took it two years ago the first time. Um, and I've done a lot of, you know, self-discovery, self-improvement since then, so it makes sense. So if you ever get the chance to, like, take a test, like, always take it again later because it is so interesting, to be honest with you. Okay, well, I think, I think that's going to be all for this video. This might be a shorter one than usual. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out, but, um... Thank y'all for watching, and um, if you guys have ever taken this, like, leave yours down, leave, leave your, like, little thingy down below, because, I, I don't know, I just think it's cool. <laughs> um, you know, as someone who's really into, like, psychology and stuff, like, I just, I just think this is so cool, and how it can, like, change and stuff, and if you've ever taken it twice and it changed, let me know, too, because, like, I don't know, I just think it's interesting to see how we grow as people. So, um, thanks, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.